Level 813. Fall upwards, or the realm of Terrafall. Survival difficulty class contested, non-human, entity superiority, unsecured, and safe conditions for humanity. Notice to all readers. Level 813, the 814th level of the backrooms, has yet to be properly explored or documented by humankind. Instead, knowledge of the level's existence is brought to us by outside forces. The following information has been directly transcribed from a penumbroid publication known as A Traveler's Guide to the Frigid Quarter, written by an unknown individual named Moronic. The physical copy of this document was provided by a self-proclaimed associate of this author in question, Dr. Byron Shields. We apologize for any inconvenience. Level 813. Imperial Name. The Realm of Terrafall Terrain and Features. Level 813 is comprised of a vast range of mountains, stretching around to form a ring encircling a foggy valley below. Temperatures here often rise above freezing, yet snow and ice here do not melt. The skies of this realm are permanently overcast, blanketing the landscape in a dark blue twilight, even in the midday. The highest peak in the realm stretches up to a calculated 30,000 feet above the fog lane, and the longest route to stretch the entire ring of mountains runs for a total of over 350 miles. If one were to plummet off the side of the mountains and into the valley below, upon reaching the fog lane you would be transported into the clouds floating above the realm, and then sent careening back down into the fog again. This cycle appears to have no end, as most objects and individuals that fall into the fog lane continue to do so until they either finally gravitate towards solid ground and are obliterated on impact, or they increase in speed and velocity as they fall starts to deconstruct them on a molecular level. Travel in this realm carries a risk at all times. While it would seem no other creatures are native to the realm, apart from flocks of deathmoths or a handful of blur tribes, the realm still poses as a deadly threat to travelers in the form of the terrain itself. Most of the routes through the mountains are entrenched in snow or run dangerously close to the edge of the cliffs. One false move in some places will send you over the edge and into an eternal plummet. It is worth noting the many ruins found strewn about the mountains, as many travelers have turned the routes passing through them as safer, more viable options for navigation. Most of these ruined structures and ancient tunnels are found at a safe distance from any precipices or cliff sides, and can offer shelter to those unable to reach a proper settlement before the cold winds of nightfall arrive. Your best bet is to stick to routes that pass through these areas. Advice to remember. Beware the wind. While the frigid temperatures aggravated by the blasting winds would be a problem all on its own, winds in the mountains often blow upwards of 50 mph after nightfall, which is easily enough to knock someone to their feet and can even carry some in the direction of the breeze. This can be disastrous if you're traveling along a precarious route, as one gush of wind in the wrong direction will send you into the eternal plummet within seconds. The easiest way to avoid this is to find shelter come nightfall, somewhere out of the open so the wind can't push you as easily. If possible, try to get underground or to a settlement for additional protection against the elements. Don't this is strangers. This advice would be a no-brainer to any penumbra, no matter the environment, but here it doesn't just apply to egg fig one or blurs. At especially high altitudes, the air is known to grow thin and hard to breathe, and the cold can worsen drastically. All your effort in these parts of the realm should be focused on keeping yourself alive, using any energy you're certain you can spare only to help those you trust. Do not stop to help anyone who, a, you don't know, b, can easily help themselves or be helped by someone else, or c, has been exposed to black fire and is too far gone to save. If you see anyone who needs assistance, head to the nearest settlement and report their location to the nearest guardsman. They'll send a rescue team to retrieve the persons in question shortly. Know your routes. As always, a map of the realm is provided in Appendix A the guide with the locations of all routes, shelters, and settlements marked for you to easily identify too if you're arriving from the covert, you'll want to follow Trail 6C until you find yourself in a ruin with a massive statue depicting an unknown prophet. From there, follow Route B until you reach Terrafold Village, where you can find any assistance you may require. If you're arriving from the Mirrored Vault, you should find yourself in Iron Rock Pass. Simply ask for directions to your destination and continue from there. If you're arriving from Ornsdale, you should come out on Route H. Follow the route for its entire length, taking care as you pass the encampments at Flair's Bluff, and you should find yourself at the Imperial Checkpoint. If you're arriving from Sfretel, please remain in the nearby ruin, and do not question the sound of bells ringing from the tower on the nearby outgrouping. A small force of guardsmen will arrive shortly to escort you to the nearest settlement. Notable Shelters and Settlements Terrafold Village 
one of the largest settlements in the realm, with a population of around 2,500. Home to several stores and taverns, a lavish inn, and even a holding district for any effort travelers. Has a standing imperial garrison over 200 soldiers strong, complete with an burglar division. The town has not one, but two postal towers, supplied with plenty of death myths from the native flocks. Best bet is to head here if you're looking to settle in the realm. Ironrot Pass. Home of the famous Ironrot Smitty, where imperial blacksmiths have trained for centuries. Population of roughly 400, not counting the many students at the Smitty. Serves as an epicenter for the realm's search and rescue militia. Plenty of level ground nearby for building and, if you're looking to set up shop. Flares Bluff. Home to one of the largest adult blur encampments in the frigid quarter, with almost 1,000 members. Most of the tribes here are kept at bay by supplies donated by the Imperial Garrison. Works as an ample source of elder blurs to serve as mounts for the Kingdom of Elist. Wise to steer clear as best you can, as the tribes are known to be rather aggressive. Phase Points Phasing in. Three of the following methods can bring you to the realm of Terrafoal. In the covert, look for a ruin marked with a bright green X. Enter the basement level, and shut the door behind you. Reopen the door and step back out to phase. In the mirrored vault, follow Hall K21, clearly marked and labeled for your convenience, and when you come to a four-way intersection, turn around and run back the way you came. If your vision goes black, don't panic. That means you've successfully phased. In Orange Dell, descend to a depth of 20M just outside Tanker Dam. If you see a glowing ball of orange light, swim to it immediately. Upon making physical contact, you should successfully phase. Phasing out. The following methods can be used to leave the realm of Terrafoal. Head to a ruin located relatively near Terrafoal Village, found by following Trail 2A, and walk through a freestanding archway in the courtyard of the ruin complex, clearly marked and labeled for your convenience. You should successfully phase to the capital of Elist. Find your way onto Route F and follow the direction indicated by the road markers. Eventually, you should arrive at what looks like the entrance to a mine shaft. Walk inside the opening, close the door behind you, and snuff out all light sources. You should successfully phase into the lost realm of Kervergist. Footnotes. 1. Slur used by P numbers to refer to humans, often shortened to just ape. 2. This information was not found in the document copy provided to the database. 3. Whatever means of entering the level from Sretel, likely level 182, are, they seem to have been intentionally left out.